Hey guys, welcome back once again for another video. So you might have seen the title of the video, but uh, before going into the video, let us see what is a motorcycle. A motorcycle is a two-wheeled uh, vehicle powered by an uh, inter internal combustion engine, which can be controlled by a handlebar while sitting in a saddle-like seat. That is the Wikipedia explanation for a motorcycle. And the first motorcycle was invented in 1852. So it has been uh, almost uh, 170 years now since motorcycles were uh, invented. And as time went on, there were uh, different types of motorcycles. Each motorcycle was uh, there to serve a different uh, type of purpose. Some motorcycles they were there for uh, touring, some for uh, daily commuting. And there is one type of motorcycle called uh, sports motorcycles. So the main purpose of the sports motorcycle is uh, speed, acceleration, braking and uh, cornering at the expense of comfort and uh, fuel economy. So in the 80s and 90s, the sports bikes revolutionized the motorcycling industry. There were a lot of iconic motorcycles, to name a few, the Suzuki Hayabusa, the Kawasaki Ninja ZX-12R. And as time went on, Kawasaki wanted to revolutionize the litter class uh, motorcycle segment. And then at 2004, they introduced the first generation Kawasaki Ninja ZX-10R. And as uh, time went on, Kawasaki started uh, improvising the ZX Tenor, making uh, a lot of changes from engine to cosmetic changes. And 15 years later, in 2019, this is what the ZX Tenor looks like. And it is uh, worth mentioning that at the time, this is the most powerful motorcycle, if not for the Kawasaki Ninja H2. There are uh, quite a few reasons why I consider the ZX Tenor as a uh, one hell of a powerful uh, super sport motorcycle. The first thing is the uh, obviously the power generated by this uh, motorcycle. This motorcycle generates uh, 210 horsepower of uh, power and 114.9 uh, newton meters of uh, torque. So if we calculate the power to weight ratio of this uh, motorcycle, uh, the power to weight ratio of uh, any vehicle can be calculated by dividing the weight of the motorcycle using the uh, power generated at the crank. So obviously the ZX NR has a power to weight ratio of uh, more than 1000. 1000 is uh, quite a huge figure. Our uh, normal uh, road cars generate somewhere around uh, 150 to 200 uh, horsepower of uh, power per uh, ton of uh, weight. So Formula 1 cars generate around uh, 1400 uh, horsepower uh, per ton of weight. Whereas the ZX generate uh, more than 1000, that itself uh, speaks volumes about the power of this uh, motorcycle. One more reason why I consider the ZX and R a pretty powerful motorcycle is the power delivery in this uh, motorcycle. Uh, this motorcycle is uh, blindingly fast, blindingly fast in the sense. Uh, I am not uh, mentioning about the speed or uh, acceleration of this motorcycle but I am uh, mentioning how this motorcycle behaves even at uh, very high speeds. Even at uh, 200 bus km per hour of speed, it will be difficult for you to assess the speed of the motorcycle unless and otherwise you look at the speedometer. That is how blindingly fast this uh, motorcycle is. That is. You wouldn't even know that uh, how fast this motorcycle is traveling without looking at the speedometer. Speaking of uh, linear uh, power delivery, the motorcycle feels uh, pretty much powerful throughout the RPM range. That is uh, right from the beginning uh, at 3000 to 4000 RPM, the motorcycle feels uh, very powerful even at uh, 12000 to 13000 uh, RPMs. That is. So in some motorcycles, the power delivery will be abrupt, uh, just uh, after 4000 or 5000 RPM, a lot of power will be generated and then uh, the power will fade away at very high RPMs. With the ZX NR, that is not the case. Even at a low RPM, the motorcycle feels uh, sufficiently powerful and once after uh, 6000 or 7000 RPM, it is a completely different beast together. <laughs> The power figures and uh, the performances which I have uh, mentioned so far are for the stock version of the ZX NR and uh, there are a lot of aftermarket uh, upgradations or uh, tunings that can be done to this motorcycle which will increase the power to weight ratio even uh, more further. 
to put the power of the ZX into perspective, I am just going to have a ride with me with the Ducati Panigale 959, which my brother owns. And here I am riding the Panigale after uh, riding my ZX and R. And uh, I have to say the Panigale feels a lot less powerful after riding the ZX. The 959 is uh, no slow coach and uh, this motorcycle is a lot powerful than the 600cc super sports including the Daytona 765 but again after riding the ZXNR riding this uh, Panigale feels uh, the Panigale is a very slow and uh, powerless uh, motorcycle so that speaks volume about the power of the ZX and uh, even after riding the Panigale the ZX feels a lot more powerful and uh, I am riding my ZX in the medium power mode now I am not using the full power mode and even then uh, the ZX feels uh, a lot powerful after uh, riding the Panigale uh, the Panigale feels uh, pretty powerless when compared to the ZX and uh, the Panigale is no slow coach the motorcycle generates around 157 as per of power uh, even uh, powerful than the 600cc super sport category motorcycle but still uh, in comparison to the zx the panigale looks pale and finally it is worth mentioning uh, the number of wsbk titles the zx has won uh, actually it is not the zx the zx 10 double r is the motorcycle used in the wsbk and it is a slightly tuned up version of the ZX 10R. And I think the comparison with the Panigale pretty much sums up how powerful this motorcycle is. So that's it for today guys. Thanks for watching. See you all once again in another video.